A quick couple of comments before my story begins. This video in its entirety was inspired by Ramsey, one of my favorite Russ YouTubers, so I take no credit for the editing style and give it all to him. Also, some of the audio is messed up in this video because of some shadow play audio syncing issues. I tried to fix it as best I could, but it's not perfect. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. That bass getting blown up right now, that's mine. My name is Stevie and welcome back to another video. So, if you've played Rust before, you probably know the terrible sound of a satchel charge fuse burning down like a ticking time bomb, threatening to blow down the very base that you work so hard on. And most of the time, the person blowing into your base is looking for farm. Sulfur, metal, components. But not this time. This was different. These raiders wanted revenge. But what for? What did I do? What started this feud? Well, first, let me take you back to the very beginning, where everyone starts as a naked on the beach. Now, some people might have a differing opinion, but I think the fastest way to get a gun is to make a friend. Oh, and I apologize for my roleplayer voice. It might get annoying by the end of the video. Yo, what's up, dude? Dude! What's up, friend? I could farm you what's so- up? Watch out, watch out, shotgun trap. Watch out for shotgun trap. Oh, shit. Track. I could farm you, you I could farm you some nodes, uh, but I don't have any guns, like, in exchange for maybe a pistol. If you farm, uh, I, yeah, if you sulfur. Farm nerds, I'll, I'll give you whatever. Just all right. Sweet. Uh, Which? What do you need more? Metal hey, or actually, sulfur? Actually, one second. Uh, just, just metal and sulfur. All right, sweet. Let me get you. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Thank you. I don't know if you need those for any reason. But <laughs> yeah, I'll take them. Uh, All right, I'll be back soon. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you whatever you need, like revolver, ammo, shit like that. All right, sweet. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, a friend made. Now, time for some work. And while I had his pickaxe, might as well hit stone for myself. I'm back. Alright, just hang out for a second. Hey, don't, 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 don't. Alright, yeah, wait I'll, I'll wait back here.
Okay. How much? How much yet? A lot of it was already hit, I think, so I couldn't really find much. There's yeah. your pick. I'll take whatever. Okay, uh, well, I mean, do you want, if you bring scrap, I, I can give you a blueprint for it, but, or would you rather just give item? Let me give uh, you item. Yeah. I'll just see what I can do. Alright, what do you want? A uh, revolver, some bullets, that'd be nice. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, dude. I'll see ya. No problem, no problem. Thank you. Now, time to see what I can do with my little pellet pistol. On the way home, another surprise. Now, with the guns I had, it was time to try to get even more. Now, should I have left them in there with the extra gun and ammo? Probably. But I got greedy, and greedy people never win. I tried to go back and get more components in my inventory. I went back, but never ended up finding the guy with all of my stuff.
Ah, at least another gun. I looted quickly, and learning my lesson from the last time, he went right back to bank. And then, right back out to fight. A good bit of farm. Definitely calling for a run back to base. I gotta find his pistol before I leave. If I were a P2. Here I would be. Rare whiff. Probably the worst time for it. Wait a second, hold up. Did you guys catch that? Probably not, because at the time, I didn't. This guy is the same guy as the farmer, so he has two other friends, they have SARS, and they have farm. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but things could get pretty bad if they found my base. Footsteps outside, but... Surely wasn't Atomic and his buddies. After all, when I got back to my base, after running off, it was the middle of the night. Hi. Uh, do I know uh, you? Yeah. Who are you? Knock, knock. Can I have your name? Hi. Who's there? Uh -oh. What? No. -uh. I don't know you. Stranger danger is right. Good call. 
<laughs> They're coming to burn my shit down right now. <laughs> They're coming to burn my shit down. Uh -oh. Hi. Uh There have been shots, like, all day around here. At this point, I was just acting like a noob, so he wouldn't think I was the person that killed him and his two friends. What? I got killed by the same guy three times. What? What is your name? What? What's your name? Your name? Raven? It was the first word that came to my head, so now I had to back it up. What's your name? Hawk. Uh, okay. Well, that's mean. Uh, hi. Now at this point I wasn't too concerned. I knew I had two sheet metal doors right behind that wooden door, so even if they got through it wasn't that big of a deal. But when switching attachments I figured that they knew who I was, so there was no point in trying to restart my game to reset my name. Uh, four. Well, it's <laughs> three after you burn the first one. Huh. So what brings you over here? Gosh, she's kind of bored. Then why are you flaming my door? It's wood, man. That's what you do. Yeah, but you know I have metal doors behind it. You heard them. Yeah, I know. Hmm. We got a plan for that, too. Oh, well, that's mean. All right, now they definitely knew who I was, so I had to push out and get that double door that I had in the box on the front. But first, might as well upgrade my walls. Yep. Can never be too safe these days. I hear ya, the neighborhood is dangerous, my guy. <laughs> I'm aware. Uh, so, I guess my question is, mm -hmm. why would you start cheap meddling your loot room? As opposed to... I don't know, starting someplace else, trying to uh, throw us off. Well, I mean, I figured... The only thing that's sheet metaled right now is your loot room. Yeah. You know exactly what you go through. 
Yeah, but it's twice as hard. Well, more than twice as hard now. That's true. Now you have the decision, am I worth 23 wa 23 satchels? I guess you could go through doors and it'd be a lot less, but... It gives you an ultimatum, you know? Yeah, I guess you're right. That was not a smart move, my guy. <laughs> it was a good try. It caught me off guard, really. I see. Alright, I'm gonna be completely honest, I never actually heard the wooden door break, so I thought it was still there, so I was totally unprepared when someone was in the first airlock already. But, figuring out that it was just two naked crossbow guys guarding, there should be no problem killing them and getting a door on. Ah, I'd given myself a couple minutes at least, and guess who it was? But were they gonna come back? Was I really worth their time and resources? But that was not very nice! Now, after some time waiting, I didn't hear anything outside, so I figured the coast was clear, and I tried to throw in a couple extra airlocks to beef up the base. Uh-oh! <laughs> Now I could hear three of them outside, so something was about to go down. And not being able to place the sheet metal doors on the front airlock I just made, I really thought they were going to try to go through the doors. But there was nothing I could really do except sit and wait. Ah, our story comes full circle. And was I brutally unprepared for them to satchel that back wall? Yes. And was that stupid of me? Yes. For them, it was just a maximum of 10 satchels through the wall and 4 through a door to get to my main loot. But earlier, when I told them I had 4 doors on the base... How many doors you got in there, dude? Oh, uh, 4. I lied. So really, once they blew that wall down, they had everything. So, it was time to think of something quick. At this point, I realized I only really had one option. With three of them in SMGs, I couldn't fight them off, so I was gonna have to replace the wall the second it broke and upgrade it in just a fraction of a second. But I was prepared. If you don't know my past on YouTube, I used to be a Rust base builder. That's what I did for hundreds and hundreds of hours. So switching back and forth between the building plan and the hammer was kind of my specialty. But my sleeping bag and small box were in the way, so quickly I cleared out the small box, picked it up, as well as the sleeping bag, uh, to not get building blocks in the heat of the moment. What's your name? I got a plan for that too. It was a good try. It caught me off guard. Really. That was not a smart move. My neighborhood is dangerous, my god. Simply too quick, and now, standing safe in my base, with a feeling of glory pumping through my veins, I had to let them know of my satisfaction by taking the squeaky role player voice up another notch. That was good. It's been fun, boys!
I don't really think that my simi is that worth it, but if you guys have a different opinion, you can keep blowing. Uh-oh. And that's where our story comes to a close. Safe and secure in my base. Well, at least for the day. A lot more action went on this wipe that I can't wait to show you guys. So if you have any suggestions for this editing style, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Things you want to see next time. And if you are waiting for the crazy base infiltrations and the destruction of private property, well, you're just going to have to wait for the next video. I'll see you then.